So we've got all 90 tubes in now. We've got uh, nice insulation in between the two collectors. You can see it's some uh, it's a foam type material and then we're using a really heavy duty outdoor type of duct tape over top of that to retain it in there. You can see on the end here we've got some more and it just transitions to the stuff that's made for HVAC. This is three quarter HVAC piping in here so it's almost like a neoprene type stuff. Works really well. So yeah, we've got uh, kind of a partial Sunday today and it's uh, reading about uh, 104 degrees on the output right now and I think about 1.3 or 1.4 gallons per minute of flow. So we'll see how high the tank temperature gets tonight. I'm not sure how much sun we're going to get but uh, right now it's started off about 75 degrees in the tank Fahrenheit this morning and it's already over 80 degrees just in you know maybe an hour so it's uh, it's going good so the tanks all together showing right now we're showing 102.3 that's uh, at the last collector this is the return temperature coming back into the pump down the bottom side there this is gallons per minute so 1.6 so basically the way the system works is as it gets hotter on the collector the pump uh, ramps up to a lot higher gallons per minute it's actually the highest I've seen is about 3.5 gallons per minute so in full sun basically your, your collector temperature won't get totally extreme it'll just keep ramping up the, the speed of the fluid running through the collectors so yeah there we go and we're running at about uh, 13 pounds of pressure and it doesn't look like it's going to get much higher than that so it's 20 after 1 in the afternoon pacific standard time and we're still showing good temperature on the collectors but we've got a serious shading issue from the cedar here there's actually three cedars so you're gonna have to look at getting those topped off and uh, that'll give me some more payback from the PV as well. I've got to get 410 watt panels here. The cheapest I've seen now is 259 US from a Richmond BC supplier for each 110 watt panel which is very reasonable. They used to be $300 or more so yeah get rid of the shading issue and we're golden but uh, it's working really well. The temperature in the tank's gone up from I think it was below 80 Fahrenheit this morning and it's over 96 Fahrenheit already so and the day's not done yet so excellent. Mm -hmm.